Hello everyone, my name is Michael Young and welcome to Elden Ring. And I am making the somewhat questionable decision to jump into a new game that's supposed to be very challenging immediately after finishing work, instead of giving myself a bit of a cool down. Let's begin. Alright, which class do we want to play? So, Vagabond looks like Sword and Shield, Knight, looks like a Knight really. This guy's got a twin blade or some sort of scimitar. It's like action shield. Uh, wait a minute. Shows. Ah, okay. Now we can get this much better. So this guy is quality. This guy is dexy. He's got twin blades. Action shield, like we said, strength. Uh, this is a bow based, it looks like. Bandit is um, an archer class. Interesting. There's, there's both Int, Faith, and Arcane. Are there three different magic types? Astrologer is apparently the sorcerer class. Prophet is Faith. Uh, samurai is Dexy Knight. Prisoner is interesting looking. Like, he's starting out with. It looks like he's got a sorcerer's staff. So he's. Another Dex Int class. And Confessor, interesting, is quality faith. And then Wretch is just nothing across the board. Huh. I'm kind of curious about this. Prisoner. I mean, they don't look very good. I'm not looking forward to wearing, wearing that. But what is that sword that they have? Is that like an, um, is that a thrusting sword? Let's go ahead and give it a try. I mean, you know, I might end up, wait, can I actually see what's there? No, I can't actually get to the different weapons. Well, let's just go ahead and try it. We'll play as a woman, of course. So we're yeah, that's a thrusting sword. It's like a an a stock or a rapier. I like it. Okay, so we're rape. We're we're playing Dexy sorcery. <laughs> that's um not something I'm commonly I've commonly used. Uh. Let's make you a rye. And your keepsake. A medallion inlaid with crimson amber, which is max HP. A lands between rune. The gold of grace shining in the eyes of the people. You, okay, that's souls. Runes are souls, right? Golden seed. Washed ashore from lands between. Reinforces sacred flasks. So it's an Estus shard. Hmm. Ashes of small go golems. Hold spirits within. A cracked pot. Three strange cracked pots. That somehow mend themselves. Stone sword key. I think those are ferrous lock stones. I'm not sure. It has two keys, actually. Five sacred branches, beguiling power. Said to originate from the demigod Mikella. I bet those are the ones that you impersonate an object. Boiled prawn. Boost physical damage negation. Just some food. Shabriri's woe. Attracts enemies' aggression. Oh. Huh. Maybe that's like, um... What, the Seed of the Giant? Don't know. But I'm thinking I'm going to go with Golden Seed. I mean, that's Estus Flask. I think it's funny that our character actually is showing off more of her chest in this outfit than by default. You got some side boob there. Alright, that hair though has to go. Let's change this.
I like a ponytail. We're gonna go with the ponytail. Otherwise, we're good. We gotta get a better hat, though. That just is no good. <laughs> the fallen leaves tell a story. <laughs> the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion, the loathsome Dung Eater, and Sir Gideon Ophnir, the all knowing. again bless a tarnished of no renown cross the fog to the lands between to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. All right, two thoughts. First of all, that guy was lying down in a box full of ears. That's just gross. Okay, and two, um, I'm gonna have to watch that like several times to figure out what that was actually saying. That was complicated. This was the bonus we get for the DLC, right off the DLC, the um, for repurchase in the game, the ring, the gesture.
All right, that's what we're doing. Map. Okay, that wasn't what I wanted, but that's sure. You can place beacons of light to serve as landmarks as you explore. You can select any site of grace, which is a bonfire, and travel there instantaneously. But there are some places where you can't. Okay. <laughs> People jumping into the game right now. Okay. I like this interface. That's nice. Let's look at these things. Equipment. You can equip armaments, arrows, bolts, armor, talismans, and items. Up to three armaments in each. The actions performed will vary based on which hand is wielding it. Oh, okay. And yeah, that is an stock. Cool. We have an stock, a glintstone staff, and a rift shield, which does not look like a very good shield. The prisoner iron mask. We're going to look at that in the inventory. We don't even have any gloves. All right. So, memory of grace. The memory of first grace, which once guided bygone tarnished to the lands between. Lose all runes and return to the last site of grace. It is merely a cycle. Stand before the Elden Ring, become the Elden Lord. All right. So, it's it's a um, dark sign. Ashes. So, the first, the first inventory was tools. Then ashes, crafting materials, bolstering materials, a golden seed found at the base of an illusory tree, increases a sacred flask number of uses, can be used after resting. When the Elden Ring was shattered, these seeds flew from the er Erd tree, scattering across the various lands as if life itself knew that its end had come. Okay. This is our magic spell. Creates a sigil overhead from which an enemy seeking glint blade appears after a brief delay. Can be used while in motion. Charging increases the delay. Does it? What's it? What, I'm not sure what it does. An enemy seeking glint blade. So it's bas it, hmm. It's basically just like a magic missile, but it looks like a blade. I don't know. Said to be the prototype of the sword phalanx sorceries wielded by royal enchanted knights. Incantations. So sorceries and there's only two magic types. Sorceries incantations, I guess. Ashes of war, which I think is like um like special weapon attacks. Alright, here's our stock. Large piercing sword with long hard ed hard bladed edge, which is also capable of slashing. For its large size, it can be ra wielded rather nimbly, leaving little opportunity for the enemy to counter. And our skill is, lets you overcome shields. So it pierces shielding. Cool. And it is, actually it's deck scaling, but strength 11 requirement, which we just barely have. So we're 1114 strength decks. All right. There's these passive effects. Look at that. I mean, they don't have any right now, but apparently there will be some passive effects. That's not something you see on other um, in other games, right? I don't think there was a passive effects in Dark Souls. And anyway, here's our staff. Staff with a glint stone embedded at the tip, a catalyst for casting sorceries. Sorceries must be memorized at the site of a lost grace. A staff must be equipped to cast them. This armament has no skill. The armament, on the other hand, is skill. Okay. Rift shield. A small metal round shield depicting a sinister rift. An antiquated charm that glares back at an enemy. It boosts focus. And it has parry. Boost focus. Is that? No. That's not a other attack. And that's not one of our stats. But it's only two-thirds physical. I think that's going to be bad. We're going to need to get a better shield than that. Our prisoner mask. Iron mask forced on a prisoner convicted of an appalling crime. Thick, heavy, and utterly stifling. 
a foul creation designed to torment the wearer, either slowly fermenting hatred within their heart or a spiritual fervor that is near indistinguishable from it. Tattered clothing worn by a prisoner convicted of an appalling crime, never once washed, every fiber is filthy. And again, the smell is beyond belief. Talismans and info. All right. And how is our equipment laid out? So we have our staff on our offhand. Hmm, do I want that? I don't think I do. I'm going to put our staff on our main hand. That's like what I'm used to. So, always blocking. I get it. So this is actually a, one of those shields you can, you can use your weapon right against. Let's see what this glint blade does. Real long delay. But once you cast it, you can cast so many of them. Okay. That really eats up our, our, our stamina then. Our FP. Tarnished Wizened Finger. What on earth is that? Used to write messages to other worlds. I am for online play. A finger of corpse wax, so one may say the bone is visible. Yeah. A relic of those who came before, left to help those who would come after. First off, good luck. Let me just check this moveset. It's all pokey. Swash. Ooh, I like that. It's basically Dark Souls 3, I think. Praise the sun. Left ahead. The door. The door is blocked shut. Uh, was there a way to it? Maybe a secret door? Oh, there's a way up. There's a chest right there, I see. How do I get up there? Through, okay, there's a door that way. It's that door? That does not look traversal. No. Over here? Well, there's another way in, perhaps. And that wasn't what I wanted to do. Try jumping. I mean, can you? It doesn't look safe. I 
Maybe we can't do it yet, but we can in the future. Like, what would cause us to be blocked? <laughs> All right, um, never mind. We'll come back for it. There's no path. Be wary of a liar. Okay. Disappointment. I don't believe you. Ah, uh, this... This is a boss arena. I wish I hadn't spent all my limb plates. That does no damage at all. <laughs> well. Maybe force death? Eventually I'll be good enough to fight that guy. <laughs> he just swung around and smacked me to death. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on her side. We found her here after all. One of her kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. even if it does violate the Golden Order. Yeah, I just don't have enough little nodes in this new lore map. The Golden Order. Flask of Crimson Tears and Flask of Cerulean Tears. Okay. Sacred Flask modeled after a golden holy chalice that was once graced by a tear of blessing. Filled with Crimson Tears, this flask restores HP with use. Rest at a site of grace to replenish. 
the one washed up on the grave site was sure to die until this flask offered its gift of rejuvenation. To seek the Elden Ring. Same thing as ever FP. Okay. It already was. Okay, never mind. It is dark in here. I had turned up the brightness, but hopefully, people can still see. Behold, skeleton! Skeleton, oh skeleton! All the more let there be friendship. No mercy for skeletons. Brave Tarnished, take the plunge of learning and remembrance. Recall the arts of war and your warrior's blood. Okay. Well, this is second. Well, that continues, so this is the right way to go. Let's go the wrong way first. Pretty tree. Tree. You are right. Too high up. Ooh, look, there's an item way over there. Visions of secret. Yeah. Precious item. Oh, precious item. Why is it always too high up? Maybe if I had a bow, I could, like, smack it. There's one there, too. There's no way for me to, like, get anywhere near it. No. No, we gotta come that way and come back from there. Precious item. Oh, precious item. Using items. Use items. Switch items. So I got the HP restore one on. I don't know if I like this. Can I change that? Uh, system. The whole thing where it makes the HUD go away. No, turn the HUD on all the time. There. Resting on a site of grace will restore your HP, FP, and cleanse status elements. It will also refill your flasks. However, most enemies you defeated will be revived. You can find sites of grace by going where light converges. These explanations are acquired in the forms of info items and can be accessed from the inventory. Bonfire. Past time. Okay. Day and night cycle. Uh, we did have a seed, so add the incorrect number of flask uses. Add a charge to the flask of crimson tears, and I can allot them however I want it. With this menu, you can allocate the number of uses in each of your flasks. You have a set total of maximum flask uses. I think I'm going to leave it like this, even though we are a sorcerer type person. Increase amount of plunge by flasks with sacred tears, but I don't have a sacred tear. 
memorize spells. You must have a staff equipped to cast sorceries or a sacred seal to cast incantations. Casting sorceries and incantations consumes FP. Your memory slots determine the number of sorceries and incantations you can memorize. You can increase your memory slots by obtaining a memory stone. So no attunement, I guess. You only have the one spell. Sort chest. With this menu, you can place items you're carrying into the chest for storage or take stored items out of the chest. It'll be stored automatically if you already have the maximum number. Good. Ever since they did Bloodborne like that, it should be always there. Hello. Reset camera, lock on, remove target. Okay, you're not going to be friendly. Try a stealth. Okay. Hello. Whoa! Yeah, you're not that strong. You can memorize torture and contention. You must have staff equipped. Yeah, yeah, we already read that. Hello. Using arm in your left hand or both hands to guard against the coming damage. Guarding is especially effective when done with a shield. Guarding consumes stamina. When your stamina breaks out, your stance will be broken. Alright. You can avoid enemy attacks with a dodge roll or back step. Or I can just stab him. Ooh, hello. Acquire materials. In every corner of the lands between, you will find fruits and flowers, mushrooms and butterflies, and various other useful materials. These materials can be used for item crafting. Aroa fruit. I'll look at that in a moment when we're not being attacked. Actually, I think we're good here, aren't we? Unless he wants to jump down. I have a buff on me. What is that? How can I tell that? Status member will check your level attribute stats and more. I'm level 9? Uh, I guess... I thought that even the red star I was level 10. Resistances are immunity, robustness, focus, and vitality. Interesting. Okay. How do I... With the multiplayer memo, you can use various multiplayer items. If you set a group password, you'll be more likely to see messages, summon signs, bloodstains, phantoms, and so on from others using the same password. If you set a multiplayer password, you'll only be matched with other players using the same password. But do not apply to invasions. So, interesting. You can be part of several groups, like guilds. That's not telling me how I find out what that is. What is that symbol? Like nothing I don't know. We just got a rowan fruit. Was that was that the thing? Berry like red fruits that grow in shrubs. Easily found everywhere. Maybe just for looting something we got a buff. Hello. You're a bit more formidable. Each hand can be equipped with up to three armaments. 
Armaments can also be two-handed, making attacks more difficult to repel with shields and boosting effective strength by 50%. So you hold Y and then R, R, B, or left B. Interesting. Doesn't seem to be a kick. I can't kick. But you can fish for backstabs. Didn't expect something. Okay, I'm terrible at this. Any chests or anything? Doesn't look like it. Pretty greenery. Skills. Armaments have special abilities called skills. Skills are highly varied and range from powerful attacks to temporary effects. Using s skills consumes FP. With this pairing. I guess I have to two hand. Yeah, that works. But I think as like a a sorcerer type, I should probably not use that. I should use my magic. Crouch to make it harder for enemies to discover you. Especially in tall grass. Okay, we're Assassin's Creed now. Attacking an enemy that hasn't noticed you will cause more damage. Whatever. Can't cut the grass. Hmm. Vision's a plump sort. What? Stance breaking. Some enemies may break an enemy's stance, giving you a chance to perform a critical hit. Charge attacks and jump attacks make it particularly easy to break an enemy's stance. Yeah. Okay. It's fast, too. Stakes of Marika. Upon dying, you will be revived at the last site of grace that you visited. If there's a stake of Marika near where you died, you can choose to be revived there instead. Oh, so like before a boss, they won't give you an actual bonfire. They'll just give you a revive point. Okay. And there's a boss. I should heal up, probably. Just to be safe. Soldier of Godric. You can perform a counterattack immediately after blocking an attack. Guard counters make it easy to break an enemy stance. So, power after blocking. Wow. That wasn't a boss, that was a regular dude.
Like, I even let him hit me. <laughs> okay, never mind. See, I wonder if you can find a way outside and find that same place from above. That'd be cool. I say interact on this, but I haven't seen any red red ones yet. I think it might be bugged. Okay, that's where we were. There's an item way over there we can't get. There's also an item right here we can't get now. Strength. I'm I'm gonna do that for a while, aren't I? I'm trying to close the thing and I jump because it used to be that button. Okay. Bonfire. Use stone sword key. I don't have one. Oh, I bet that might lead around to where we just... Maybe. Who knows? Does my sword have durability? No. No, I don't think so. And look at this. This sword is almost as good as blocking with our shield. We need a better shield. Cooperative multiplayer. Use tarnished furled finger to write a gold summon sign. Cooperative multiplayer will begin once you have been summoned by a player from another world. You'll take the role of an ally, furled finger, and your objective is to defeat the area boss. The compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of the summoner, host. And then a severer. I gotta see what they say. A finger of corpse wax fueled like a hook, furled like a hook. A relic of those who came before it up to help those we come after. Use as a host of fingers to select the summoned player and send them home. Use when you've been summoned to return. Severs the link formed by a furled finger, but the maiden scorn those who ab who's abuse its use. And this is just messages. So this is like a white stope stone. It's going to be a long time before we can trust a message. Yeah, right. That's no item. What are you talking about? Okay, we're outside now. So the big tree's over there now. Where were we? Were we up there? Maybe we were up there. No? It felt like we were really close to the big tree. Maybe we were up on that side, on that mountain, way up here on that side of it. I think it was leaning right, not left. Well, no, we have a bit of a bit of a, this revealed over here, so maybe we were way over there. I don't know. Let 
More fruit. Grace exists to guide the tarnished and lead them along the proper path. Even now some sites of grace retain that power, the golden rays will guide you along your way. So they want me to go that way. But there's a big armored knight dude. That might not be a good idea. Use your map to check your current position as well as the terrain and surrounding structures. You can update your map with new information by finding map fragments at stells along the road. Okay. Oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. Great! Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless, me, Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace, the golden light that gives life to you tarnished? You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace, the path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. Okay. Grace's guidance will reveal the path forward to Castle Stormvale, over on the cliff, the home of the decrepit demigod, Godric the Drafted. That's the guy from the trailer, right? I think. It's time you set off, I should think, to Castle Stormvale on the cliff. Where well, I don't want to. I want to look around here. If you seek the Elden Ring, maidenless as you are. It's time you set a castle if you seek. Okay. Ooh. Birds. I'm bad at this. A right, goat down there? Okay. Oh, there's multiple trees. So, like, well, one of them stands out. I gotta say. Never mind. Why is it always bad luck time for friendship? Wrong one. In each area you may find effigies of martyrs. These effigies are summoning pools. You'll find it easy to summon our players at these locations. Ah. Well, I want to do some right wall strats, but let's see what this guy's about first. Hello? Excuse me, sir. My name is Gyobu Masataka Oniwa. Oh, is a boss? He has a lot of health. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm going to avoid this guy. 
At least I'll be getting a better, sh better fist block shield. <laughs> Upon dying, you'll be revived. The last site of grace you visited, you will drop any runes. If you die again before reclaiming those runes, they'll be lost forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's get our, our runes before the night comes down. Alright, let's do a right wall strat. We're just going to walk along the wall on the right side of this. Four toed foul foot. Don't birds have three toes? There's a bat down there. Yeah, bats. Okay. This looks like it just goes around. Thin beast bones. I'm assuming these are just for collectibles or for crafting. What is this? The skull. Flower! Arteria leaf. That's a new one. So we're heading into a swamp. Not the not the night. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we have bats down here. I'm not sure how much I need to care about them. Hmm. Okay. They're pretty weak. Golden Rune. Oh, and that's it. You used to gain a small number of runes. Grace that dwells within the inhabitants of lands between the lingering trace of gold. Runes are nourishment for the development of any tarnished, provided a finger maiden can be found. Finger maiden? That doesn't sound right. You know, I just, I just realized we have ambient music. Which is not something that Dark Souls does. I like it. It's the guy kind of Sekiro who does it, right? Huh. I bet you could jump up there, maybe.
Smithing stone. Okay. This looks like death. Used to smith a variety of armaments, a shard found in plenty, strengthens armaments up to plus three. Oh dear, what's that? We got some sort of a bug. Vanquishing enemy groups. Vanquishing an enemy group will replenish your flasks. Nifty! Where was the other thing? There it is. Great Dragonfly Head. Alright, right wall strats. So let's head this way. Air Leaf Flower. Oh, come on. I'm not sure if those are worth chasing. Ooh, what's that? It's another bat? Herba. Ow. Crab! Look at it! There's a crab down there! Well, we can't get to it yet, but eventually, we're going to fight a crab. I wonder if falling right there would be good. I kind of don't want to risk it. No. Not right now. This is a bunch of little things around. Okay. Come on, game. Reward my exploration with more than just bats. Ooh. Okay. So we got some graves and a shiny skull. Uh, I could go down there. I have been down there. There was nothing down there. But bats. I 
I got a nice little ruin here. Stop it. Oh dear. It's so weird that the game just kind of begins with throwing bats at you. Whoa. It's like an unusual first enemy type. Looks like there's some bats that are gathered around a thingy? And they replenish my flasks, so let's just burn one. Just a rune, okay. There's a guy on a horse, but he doesn't look as scary as the other guy. Flight opinion. Hey, there's a little thing. Okay, we're near a grace. What a random. Okay, I'm so used to bonfires showing up at like good normal locations, like regular locations. On, I guess, I don't know. All those bats are back, but that's okay. Like, what a random spot for that. Hello? I'm probably going the wrong way. Ooh, look at that. There's something there. Ew. What are these things? Octopus? But here? Hidden path. Hmm. It almost does look like a hidden path. I kind of wonder. Like, it almost seems like you could fall down here and it'll be okay. This is not okay. Maybe right this way, though. That didn't even cause damage. Behold, regret. Oh. Yeah, there's there's nowhere else to go from. Oh, there. Why is it always whole? Jumping required ahead. Well, it looks like we're going to get down all the way. Is that if that's a good thing? But there's no reward or anything so far. Uh. Looks like I could have fallen to that platform right there. Let's see if we can get right below me. Nope. Behold regrets.
still there. Clearly was a way there. Like, this is a way, too. We can fall right to here. There's there's a, uh, an enemy there. A dog? Oh, our souls are kind of not in a good spot. Wait a minute. Can we just warp, go down there and warp back up? Is that how this works? Let's try it. Like, I'm amazed we're not getting taking damage from that. But this is this is going bad places. Yeah, I'm not seeing anywhere to jump from here. And we can't get back up, can we? No. Behold regret. I don't know why I'm bothering. I, I don't have. I can't spend souls yet. But I do want to go down. I want to go down all the way. We'll just we'll go the right way this time. Oh no! We're, I'm gonna jump this way first, and let's see what that thing is there. It looks like a wolf, maybe. Behold, wolf! Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's too far. It's not obvious what's too far and what's not too far. <laughs> Ooh, it's raining. Okay, what if we had instead... Like, that feels like it should kill me, but it doesn't. We're below the wolf, though. And that feels like it should be the same drop as the other one. Oh, well. Tears, oh tears, it's like a dream. I like the waves. Do it again. Uh, it was underwhelming the second time. No rushing in ahead. Jump on horseback near a spirit spring to ride its current high into the air. You won't take damage, but I don't have a horse yet, so. Ooh, that guy started moving towards me. Are you a scary dude? What a waste. Oh, you're a scary dude, yes.
You have an awkward... Oh my god! He has like gravity magic. Adding skills. With a whetstone knife, you can use Ashes of War to grant your armaments new skills. An armament can only have one skill. Any skill I previously had will be removed. An armament's type determines what skills it can have. Some special armaments have unique skills that cannot be granted new ones. With a whetstone knife, you can add Ashes of War to grant affinities to your armaments. You can, ar you can alter an armament's attack affinity. Oh, so this is like... This is this is like the equivalent of um yeah what's it called of like making a sword fiery or making a um making a chaos blade or something interesting actually Ash were gravitas yeah it was gravity attacks. Usable on melee armaments, small armaments, and whips accepted. Grants affinities and skills to an armament. Gravitas and magic. Grants an armament the magic affinity, which is, you know, my thing. Gravitas. Skill originating from the alabaster lords, who had skin of stone. Thrust the armament into the ground to create a gravity well. In addition to dealing damage, the attack pulls enemies in. Cool! Oh, a rain stopped. And look at this guy. He was... He was like a man. He was like a dude. Okay. And we did not fight him very nicely. We spellcasted him. Smoldering Butterfly. We know what those are. I love the destructible environment. It's cool. Hey, there's a cave. Wait, before we go in the cave, let's look around here. Time for crab. That's what I thought. Is that a lootable thing? Now, how far does this go? Can I just walk across the entire thing? No, it stops here. But it goes out pretty far. I see you, crab. You aren't that beefy. Crab eggs. Lump of flesh. Hmm. Why is it always crab? Because we're so lucky. Because we've been blessed. 
Okay, there is more shore over there, but we can't get to it from here. Those all seem to be the same. Now, apparently we can get everywhere around here. I mean, there's... You see the signs everywhere, so people are getting up. Let there be horseback battle. That scared me a little bit, actually. First off, horse, then jumping. Praise the research. Try jump attack. Yeah, if I had a horse, you could probably make that. But I do not. Let's check out that cave. Kind of dark. Oh, oh, it's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to find. How the Drake Talisman. It's from back here. This is where the start of the game was. Well, not the start of the game. This is where we we woke up again after we died. Boosts holy damage negation by 10, 10%. Talisman depicting a golden ancient dragon. Boosts holy damage negation. The ancient dragons who ruled in the prehistoric era before the Erd Tree would protect their lord as a wall of living rock. And so it is that the shape of the dragon has become symbolic of all manner of protections. Sure. Um, I think there's nowhere else for us to go that we have to just warp back up. I couldn't figure out how to get to that wolf. Like there could still be places to fall, but I'm just not I'm not aware of this being safe. Because it feels like we should be able to get there. There's messages there. Maybe if we go back this way we'll find another platform. Maybe I can fall that. It feels like I should be able to fall this. Here, let's try this. Maybe not. But there's nowhere more likely. What's that? A little mark. Eh, it doesn't matter. I feel like they were gonna die, but oh well. No! He survived! The crab is back, so the crab responds. Okay, that would be a way down there, but I don't think we need to go that way. That dude responded also. Oh, you could cheese him from way up here, perhaps. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. Trina's Lily. That was just the plant next to it. a lump of flesh filled with rich juices found by hunting carnivorous beasts.
This was the rare one. A light purple water lily that is on the verge of wiltering. Material used for crafting items, exceedingly rare to find. A symbol of faith in Saint Trina. Dulls the senses, preventing agitation. Uh, the other one that was rare was that first flower, the Ar Artia flower? Ar Artaria. Exceedingly rare to find. A faint pulse can be felt in the veins, stirs the blood, providing an enlivening effect. Well, I'm not going to go down again. We've already been down there. So let's just warp our way back up. I'm gathering all these souls without the ability to spend them. I feel bad about that. But that's fine. Right while strats. Okay, now look, I have another buff on me now. I have... Okay, that's the lightning defense one. Okay. Gotcha. Mushroom! Badger, 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 mushroom. Look at that. Are those enemies fighting? Yeah, those are people fighting. Can I sneak a kill or two? Or are they even hurting each other? Now they are. Glowstone. Ow. That was profitable. Brass shield. Ooh. Okay, we got a couple items there. First of all, let's look at my inventory, of course. Oh, I can't equip it. Needs 16 strength. Oh, but it's 100% negation. I need that. Commonly employed in the shattering. It's not even a parry shield. Though I don't, I'm not parrying at all, so. I don't know if I want to spend five strength just to get that. But I saw we got a helmet also. Godric Soldier Helm. Worn by soldiers loyal to Godric the Crafted. Made from durable iron, layered with a chainmail coif beneath. And my hat is, well, bad. This is a uh, lighter. has half as light and about two-thirds of the negation. Although, I guess we get a ton of resistance from this. Look at that. All that focus and vitality compared to this. And poise. But it's just so ugly. You know what, though? We'll be better. We'll just be to go hatless. Oh, we got another thing, right? Uh, that glowstone, yeah. Emits a faint light from the location it is placed. Polished rune fragment that shines brighter than rainbow stone. Emits light from the location it is placed, illuminating the surrounding. Ah. May serve some benefit in dark places or at night. Was there anything else? The mushroom. And I think that's it. Well, that was cool. Just encounter some random people fighting each other.
Open world combat. Okay, there's more of those type of guys. There's a, a a bonfire, not an actual bonfire, a um, not a grace, right there. Looks like these were there was a t earlier attack here, and they fought them off, and then these guys maybe ran over. Sliver of meat. This is really undetailed. I, I really need to get a map or something. I'm kind of trying to fill in this area. Okay, there's another, another big crab. So we got the swamp. We already saw the swamp. We're at the other side of the swamp. There were some buildings in it. We'll check them out. But I want to see if we can get up here first. He's fallen over ruins. Of course, we ended up on the wrong side. Okay, there is that dude right there. I remember seeing him before. We try to kill him? If he turns around, we're going to try to kill him. But he might go on for a while. Yeah, he's, he's, he's going on for a while. Never mind. Ruin Fragment. Oh, there he is. You're not running away. Yeah, you might get away. What a waste of magic. Hey, that looks like a friend thing, maybe. I can't lock on to them. I love the hat. Ah. It's as fearsome as it is majestic. So, unless you're mad or wish to be burned alive, stay clear of the lake. Wh wh which, which lake are you talking about? Don't be a fool. Turn back. You don't mean the swamp, right? Before it's too late. Don't be a fool. Okay. Like, I don't want to touch the lake anyway. I want to get up on top of this thing. No, I'm still on the wrong side. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I got turned around. I was confused. Oh, we're not going to get on this side, are we? Maybe. Uh, but probably we just need a horse to do that jump. Yeah, we're not going to get up there. Darn it, we need to get a horse. Uh, 
Okay. Let's keep going. So the battlefield we where the where the two factions were fighting was over here. Ish. Right there. And we didn't go this way yet. There's quite a few of them. There are quite a few of them. They don't hit very hard though. Rainbow Stone. Oop, game's lagging a little bit. Maybe we've transitioned to a new zone? Or something? So, we've been here. We've jumped down that way before. Haven't been down there, though. And I see a corpse with an item on it! Ambush ahead, like to taking on all once. Yeah, it was fine. Oh, there, there's more. Okay. Try jumping. Thank you for the helpful advice. Crab eggs. Really? Ooh, look at that. That's something. Seek tree. Bear seek seek last. <laughs> There's no hidden path ahead. That's a mm. Dark Souls community. Why do you do these things? And what was the point of coming down here? There was nothing but crab eggs. Like I'm almost I think that maybe there was a hidden path or something. I don't know. God, I've been playing this an hour and a half, and I still haven't been figured out how to level yet. I should probably go back to that first bonfire and go a different direction. But, you know, right while strats. You cannot disobey. Okay, that was the battlefield. I kind of like this outfit. Like, it's it's an ugly outfit, but it's, you know, actually shows me. More of these guys. 
This almost feels like an area transition. Like, to a different zone. Maybe? If we can find a grace, I might just turn around and go back. Because doesn't it? It feels like we're going to somewhere that feel that looks different than where we are now. Oh, I love that regain. That's a great way. Like all in um in like Bloodborne and other, not Bloodborne. Bloodborne's a bad example. But in Dark Souls, when you get like an Estus refill, it felt so rewarding. And we're getting that like every time we kill a group. It's perfect. Those flowers are not good flowers. I can tell you right now, that's a bad flower. And I bet there's something out there, if I could only get out there. Maybe. This game kind of feels, like, I, I hate to say it, but it feels kind of like Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> More than anything else. Um, which is a great thing, that's a good comparison. But once I start smashing my face into a, a boss or two, it'll probably go right back to go back to that nice soulsy feel to it. But in the meantime, I'm happy, I'm happy running around getting all the things. Flower. Yeah, I, I I get what you're I get what you're saying. But people are dying here a lot. Ooh, maybe. I mean, there's bloodstains down there also, but that's. It looks like people are trying to jump from here over to that place. I see an item. Just a moment. What is going on? They were lying in stealth. a ruined fragment. Didn't expect trap. Yeah. Neither did I. It was a good trap. Running out of things to do in this direction.
Ooh, these are rare flowers, right? You know, these Trina lily. Do they just spawn in because it's like turned nighttime, maybe? Don't you dare! Why is it always dead end? All right, I think we're done here. Let's go all the way back up to the seaside ruins. No, let's go back to here, the first step. And um, start maybe going in the direction it's telling me to go. Avoiding the man on the horse. Because we're not any more stronger than we were back then. Hello? It's time you set off to cast yeah, yeah, yeah. if you Hey look, there's something over there. No, that's just the that's just the sun, isn't it? Yeah, what time of day is it? Maybe we should pass time. Not not run around at night. Until morning. All right, let's try to avoid this guy by falling down here, maybe? Whoops. Did not mean to fall. Another bonfire so close to the first one. Okay. <clears throat> Through your map, you can instantly travel to any sites of grace you've discovered. Yeah, I know. No. I should have just walked forward an hour and a half ago. Sorry. <laughs> Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. Yeah, she's cute. I offer you an accord. But I am maidenless. Have you heard of the finger maidens? They serve the two fingers, offering guidance and aid to the tarnished. But you. I am afraid, are maidenless. I can play the role of maiden, turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. Okay. I wonder if you could refuse her and just do a no leveling run. Then it's settled. Like for real? Like that's Summon built into the game? Like grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. Spectral Steed Whistle. Use it 
to traverse great distances. Now I okay. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Okay. I'm not gonna level up yet because there's someone right next to us I haven't talked to yet. And how is it nighttime already? We passed time till morning, didn't we? Maybe a force is at nighttime when we talk to her. Horseback riding. Use the spectral steed whistle to summon and ride your spectral steed. If your steed dies, you can summon it again, but it will cost a flask of crimson tears. Okay. Pouches. From pouch in the main menu, you can equip six items to your pouches. Four of those can be used without opening the main menu. Ah. So it's like a... Hmm. Okay. So I've got my dark sign as Y up. Let's go Y left for our horse. A delicate goldwork ring can be used as a finger whistle. Sound the whistle to summon and ride Torrent, the spectral steed. Okay. Yeah, cool. Strengthening armaments. At a smithing table, you can spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments. Somewhere in the lands between, you may meet a blacksmith who make, can make your armaments even stronger. With the smithing menu, you can spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen your armaments. I can actually increase my sorcery scaling by leveling my staff. I like that. That's mm, that's that's a rare thing. But this would only increase the attack power. It doesn't even increase my shield stability. That seems unfortunate. But we'll go we'll go for this, of course. We'll go for a bit more damage. On our stock. The Santa Claus. You're a tarnished. I can see it. But I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Carly, purveyor of fine goods. Is that an instrument of some sort he's got? Like it's got a little hand thing and strings. I don't know. Maybe it's for plucking? Maybe it's just a weapon. Tell me about yourself, man. I am of a nomadic people, selling wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished like yourself, who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. What's your recommendation? You know, if you can spare the runes, you should buy yourself a crafting kit. A crafting kit allows you to make basic items on your own. Essential, really, if you intend to survive out here for any duration. The kit costs a bundle, and I admit I do take my cut. But the important thing is that you survive. Every customer counts, after all. Okay. Spend runes to purchase items. You got a telescope, allows you to see far away things. Furl Calling Finger Remedy reveals 
co-op and hostile you have to use a, a, an item to reveal summoning signs but it's craftable okay cracked pot empty pot somehow mend itself and broken essential vessel for crafting cracked pot items okay there's the crafting kit I'll buy that Leather bag containing a pestle and mortar, a small blade, and various other tools. Enables item crafting from the main menu. Both means to fight and means to survive. Nomadic Warrior's Cookbook expands crafting repertoire. Let's me learn how to make bone arrows. Okay. I'll eventually want to get everything, but let's see what we have first. Acquire the knowledge to craft the following invigorating meat and glowstones. Okay. Left by a man who, unable to become a finger maiden, became a missionary and went forth to spread holy teachings. Holy water pot and roped holy water pot. So, a holy um, fire bomb? Hmm. Torch can be raised up, illuminating more of the surrounding area. A spy torch. A round shield covered in leather on the larger size. Its damage negation may be lacking compared to metal. It can handle a wider range of attack affinities. It's better than ours. Like, ours is 66 physical. What are these? Note imparting knowledge in brief. Note flask of wondrous physic. Contains information about a flask of wondrous physic. For the details, only be able to... Okay, so we'll purchase these, definitely. And this is Waypoint Ruins. Okay. How much do I have left? 2,000? Um... I kind of want the shield. Okay, I'm going to grab the shield. And I'm curious about what this meat is. Invigorating. Like, what does that mean? Alright, and then we should buy these empty pots. There you go. We still have some stuff to buy. We'll come back and we'll get it. If you have a crafting kit, you can make various items from materials you find. Select item crafting to make items. You will need cracked pots or other containers to craft certain items. You will not be able to make more of those items than you have containers. Con containers run out with use, but the containers themselves remain. Oh! I wonder if maybe getting cracked pots as a starting g gift would have been better than the Estus. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, we got a bunch of stuff there. So item crafting, first of all. Invigorating cured meat, which needs land octopus ovaries. Land octopuses. Temporarily boosts robustness. I don't even know what that is. Here, what's, what's robustness? So Im immunity is poison and rot. Robustness is blood. Okay, that's bleed and frost. Focus is sleep and madness. Madness. Interesting. And vitality is insta death. So curse, maybe? Okay, invigorating. I don't think I need that. It's just two different things in room. That fire pots. Which, okay. And roped fire pots. Bone darts. You know, I wonder if I should take a few of these just as a way to pull enemies. Hmm. 
This was the reveals people, which just needs flowers. Glowstones need Dukist Herba found in and around the Eternal City. Well, there's something we don't know about yet. The Eternal City. Rainbow Stones are Prism Stones. Once used to entertain children on the fringes of the lands between. And a row of raisin feed the torrent to restore HP. Which just needs fruit. Let's make a bunch of these. I'm assuming it's his HP, not mine. And I guess I'll make some fire pots. Okay. Let's put that on the bar. Maybe this on the bar too. Okay, and that shield. So look at that. That's just a solid upgrade. It's a little bit heavier, but it's so much better defense against everything. First upgrade. <laughs> or I guess probably the artifact counts. What was it? Uh, how do I use that gravitas thing? It's need something I don't have yet. Uh, there were. There was the notes. But the gravitas thing. Where is that? There. Doesn't say. I don't know. It's an Ash of War thing. Ah, there we go. A flask of wondrous physique still remains in the Third Church of America, north of the Mistwood. Cross the highway bridge and follow the animal trail north. Someone lurks among the waypoint ruins on the roads through Limgrave. Okay. Isn't that where I am? Waypoint ruins? No, I'm at Church of Ella. You know what? We have no souls. We just burned all of our souls. Let's go try fighting that dude again. It actually, it actually crashed into the wall and made some uh, some stuff fall. That's cool. Oh, I bet we could cheese this guy with magic. If I just uh, allot my S to society, he, he, he seems dodgeable. This way tarnished. May I have a word? Hello. Who are you? A pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. I am the witch, Renna. I'd heard tell of a Tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. And upon looking into the matter, the talk, I surmise, is of thee. Thou art possessed of the power, no? to call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. Yep. Ah, as I had hoped, I was entrusted this for thee by Torrent's former master. Whoa, wait, 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 wait what is, what's going on with your hands? Whoa, 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 you've got double sets of arms. Spirit calling bell. 
Lone Wolf Ashes. It is a bell for calling forth spirits. Summon them with it. From ash and return to the earth tree, the spirits will obey thine command but briefly. As they recall battles past, now it is thine to do with as thou wishest. Are those... those she's a doll. All her wrists are broken. I think. You can use ashes to summon various spirits. Summoning typically consumes FP. Only summon one type of spirit at a time. You cannot summon spirits during multiplayer. Look at that. Yeah, her hands are held on by, like, threads. Forgive mine intrusion, tarnished. I doubt we shall again meet. But all the same, learn well the lands between. She has two heads! Oh my god! I, how did I not notice that? She had like a head coming out of her head. It was like a... Maybe she's just really like... I, I, I don't even know. I, I, I'm... I'm vaguely disgusted. Here, I wanted to... Switch these. And just see if we can... Perhaps... Cheese this guy with magic. And was he again taking damage when he slammed into the wall? It looked kind of like he was. Hello. Gold rune. You're alive. Maybe? You're making noises. Are all of these alive? Wow, okay. Um, let me try that again. That wasn't what I meant to do. Oh well. <laughs> Jesus! That reach! I'm fumbling around with my magic trying to, trying to make that work. Hit the wall again. What are you doing? I see. Oh my god. He one-shots me. Well, we were mid-roll, so it was a counter hit, but... 
This might not be achievable yet. <laughs> we might need to level up a bit more. Let me try again. I feel like this should be achievable. We just need to be able to dodge around him for a few bit, a few times. So he's got strats. not doing that well with the damage Almost killed me that time. Oh my god. Um Wow. Okay, what if we try to attack him normally and then get him down to like half and then start using magic? Because we just don't have enough magic to get him all the way down. And he seems like he gets harder as he as he progresses. Let's just try hitting him a few times. Like, it would be so much better if I had a full fizz block shield, but I don't. We might have to run away until we get one. Hit the wall again. I want to see you hit the wall. No, I didn't damage him at all. Ah. 
It might be easier. No, I, I, okay, I'm, I'm gonna do it. We did it again. We might want to switch our flask back if we have to, because we're gonna have to do some fighting. And in particular, we're getting hit. We'll try it though. Let's just try fighting him again, just like normal. I'm not gonna spend the next hour fighting this guy and losing, because he's clearly meant to be a come back and kill him sort of dude. Ow! His horse bit me! <laughs> Look at that jump! Wow! Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. I don't, I don't want to sit here forever. Um, well... Wait a minute, I haven't tried this! Oops. Can I still cast from here? Ah, oh, yeah, this will work. Maybe. You win. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna come back when I get when I get a better shield. All right. Uh, so way down here, we're gonna continue looking around. I know there was one place we couldn't we couldn't get an item because we couldn't jump. Oh, I like how you can loot while you're on your horse. Alright, this is where they were fighting. That's what I want. Up here. There we go. Try fingers. Praise the horse. Slumbering egg. That's a new one. Oh yeah, summons three lone wolf spirits. I forgot about that. Hmm. Okay, it's just a material found by hunting owls. Never mind. Not a big deal. Let's go and try to go into the swamp. Maybe kill this good dude, finally. Hey, look at me! Look at me! No, he doesn't see me. We'll chase him down now. Ow. Whoa. Oh, I have my flash set wrong. Yeah. Let's 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 get some healing flash back. Ever go up here?
Oh. This... That's right next to my home. I thought... I thought it was further away. Turtle! I like turtles. Turtle neck meat. Hello. Oh. Other dude doesn't do that one. All right, let's, let's let's try fighting him on the horse. I'm being obstinate. <laughs> Everyone knows a rapier is a fine weapon for jousting. This is getting kind of silly. You hurt my horse, man. Screw you. Horse is still angry. Oh, okay, wait a minute. This guy didn't even drop it in there. Stop that. Grab.
Are you coming for me? Can I kill your crabs? I don't think so. I think that's just a normal, normal patrol pattern. What is this? Oh, is that a thing that spawns dragonflies? Are we about to be attacked by a bazillion dragonflies in a moment? Okay, that's stacking up pretty quick. Maybe we need to back off a little bit. But there's an item! I want it! Oh, it's just a leaf. And now we're poisoned. Let's see how bad poison is in this game. It doesn't tick very hard, but it seems like it's going to last a long time. Dragon Burned Ruins. Is this the lake they were talking about? Where the dragon is. Look at that dog, it's so hairy. Okay, this poison is lasting forever. Golden runes. A dog. An easier dog. I'm dead. Uh, can I warp away? Yeah. Otherwise we're dead. But, you know. We'll have to go back and try it again.
Uh, do I have souls? I do have a decent number of souls. Our first level up. God, what should I put? Get a bit more damage? A bit more spell damage? Maybe just more HP. More stamina would be good too. But just early HP seems like a good choice. All right, let's go back to the um, that ruin with the dogs and all the dragonflies. Mushroom, mushroom. A gill or a gill. Oh, I'm dead. Should have been. Tree. A gill on a gill. There's a bonfire over there. A real bonfire, I mean. A kill! Hello, dog. trying to run away from me? They are, they're trying to run away from me. Now I feel bad. Somewhat. A gill. I see the way down. Rats. Secret passage? No. Liar ahead.
Could this be a liar? Be wary of trap. Not what I was expecting. Interesting. So a chest teleported me somewhere. Better than a mimic. Celia Crystal Tunnel. Is this going to bring me back? Maybe? No, it's an actual item. Gravity Stone Fan. And Gravity Stone Chunks. The hell am I? I'm way over here somewhere. Oh, we do not do good damage. Uh-oh. We do not do good damage. Maybe we can run around and loot some things before we die? To centipede man? Nope. Interesting though. Now that... That's something you haven't seen in a Dark Souls game before. You open a chest and get teleported to a higher level zone. I wonder if that would be like a speedrun tactic. To get like, things like... Let's just take a look at what we actually got. We got like gravity something or other. Oh! It spawns me here. That's kind of cool actually. We can always warp back, but... No, I can't. Look at... Is that... Does that mean no warp? That... that the icon in the top left corner? That might mean no warp. Here, let me just see. It'll, it'll prompt me. Yeah, I can't warp out of here. We are trapped. Oh my god, that's so cool. <laughs> I love it. Okay, but let's look at this first. We got Gravity Stone Pen. Uses FP to emit fan shaped gravitational shock wave. Throw at enemies. The desperate ones who scavenge for these shards dub themselves Star Colors. So there's shards of rock found in the wake of a meteorite strike. Interesting. So gravity is like, you know, an actual element in this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see an item up there. I want it. Should I even try to kill this guy? I feel I feel like we, maybe we can. Well, it's hard to use magic on him. I got him. I'm thoroughly pleased by this. This is just something I never expected. You're right above me, right? No, you're not you. Dude, you just ruined everything. They hit really hard, too. Like, I'm sure we can run out towards that light that I was almost at last time. And we'll be able to get away. But I'm shocked that they put me here to the point where I can't even bonfire. I can't... I can't... I can't... Um, what's it called? I can't use my... Um, my... My... 
my dark sign. Here, just to test. Okay, they're really weak to magic. Which, which, who's throwing stuff? Is that, is it you? I don't think so. Someone down there is. Well, I don't care about you. Rune arc. Oh dear. I think we escaped by getting to there. And there's a grace. You're such a liar. I mean, that's not even a good lie. Like that looks like there could be something ahead. Gold rune. That's it. All right, let's just sit. Celia Crystal Tunnel. We could warp home, but you know, we're here now. I don't really want to be here. This isn't a nice place. <laughs> I want to go home. I want to go home. By the way, I want to I go home. Oh, I want to go home. This is not a nice place. It's kind of moldy. And there's dudes wandering around. Faded Airdly Flower. Celia, Town of Sorcery.
No? How do I get in? God, this is an unpleasant feel. Hello. It bleeds me. Or, it, no, it's fungusing me or something. Scarlet Rot. I should have grabbed that. I'm gonna run home. I'm gonna run home at some point. Um, last, last, well, I, I don't even know where the stake was, so I'm gonna grab that one. So we learn where it is. But we're gonna run home soon. I just wanna run around and see if I can get stuff. Glintstone. Fireflies. Oh, hello. What is what you have on your face? That dog had so many hit points. Behold, dung! Swamp of Ania. Uh, hi, guys. Hello. They're like constructs. Maybe I'll just run by. Stop by the shack beyond the southern gate. My souls. There they are. Rotten stray ashes. Ah. Let's go away. Forgive me. Hello. I've been testing you to determine 
If the Elden Ring would truly have you, if you had the metal to endure this long and arduous path. It seems my worries were unfounded. Torrent. I haven't even killed a boss yet. <laughs> or as I merely pretended. There is but one other thing I can do to offer you guidance. I can take you to the round table hold, gathering place of tarnished champions. Guided by grace. Sure. Very well. Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. God, that place was so unpleasant. Like, I mean, it, it was like deep dust all over again. The Round Table Hold is a place where tarnished gather guided by grace. Combat is prohibited due to a pact of non aggression. The Round Table Hold is located outside this world. It can only be reached through the sites of grace or through map travel. Alright, um. I think I'm going to take a break here. We're about approaching the three hour mark. And we'll explore this area and then go back to the beginning probably and just see what else we're missing. So thank you everyone for watching. Hope you're enjoying. I know I am.